Good morning and welcome. Uh, today's the glow flow. <laughs> it's going to feel good. We are kind of just getting into our bodies. Um, there's no particular area that we're focusing on other than just the whole package. And um, I just, before I set my camera up, I just want to show you how cute this is. This is this is our old dog, Zuli, and Freya just loves to go, and it's like any time, it's like, where's Freya? Oh, she's just sitting on the dog bed with Zuli. <laughs> Zuli is such a nice puppy girl. <laughs> so that's what Freya is doing while we do our yoga. I'm sure she'll come in and hang out with us too, but okay, let me get my camera set up here. I had it all lined up. That's close enough. Close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades though, right? <laughs> oh, I like the way the camera is. Look at it, because it's like pointing down at me. I look like I have no legs. <laughs> That's what it makes me feel like doing. All right, so we don't need any equipment today. If you don't have a yoga mat, that's okay. Don't even worry about it. Just, you know, carpet, your floor, your wall or your ceiling, wherever you like to hang out and do your yoga. <laughs> Awesome. So let's all come to meet on our mats. Don't always do exactly what I do because I have to face the camera a lot of the ways with my funny Oompa Loompa legs today. <laughs> um, so let's all come to meet on our mat. We're going to meet standing and this time we're going to take a little bit of a wider stance. We're going to power pose it out to start. So uh, taking our feet just a little wider than our hips, hands to the hips. And we're gonna really open the chest, stand nice and tall, kind of like that Peter Pan pose, right? Thinking of Peter Pan and how stoked he is about life all the time. You can either soften the gaze or close the eyes, and we're just gonna bring our awareness to the breath and the body and give a few cycles of breath to marry the two. So let your body be so in tune with your breath that your breath actually is just breathing your body. is forced. You're simply just allowing that breath to move through the body and complete its cycle. Knowing that for this window of time on our mat, there is nothing else you need to do. Nobody is asking anything of you. Your to-do lists, your tasks, and demands of your time, all of those can wait until you're finished. Take your deepest and most fulfilling breath today. So filling the belly, the ribs, and the chest. Letting it out with a sigh. Again. One more. Oh, that feels good. All right. Opening yourself up and into your five-pointed star. So those feet are good right where they are. We're going to stretch the arms all the way up. Let everything open. A little bit of a back bend here. And then finish that circle with the arms all the way down. And we're going to bring ourselves to the top of our mat hands to heart center. Begin tucking the chin and we're going to roll. Did you guys see that? I was kind of going off to the side there. I closed my eyes doing my yoga again. There I go. I told you I love it. It always feels so good. I just want to close my eyes. <laughs> tucking the chin. We're just going to roll it forward into our forward fold. If forward folds don't agree with you because they don't they don't agree with everyone, then instead of rolling forward all the way down into a forward fold, I'd like you to hinge from the hips into a half lift. So you're getting a really nice opening through the back of the legs and there's no rounding or compromise to the lower back here. And then again, keeping that nice long flat spine, you can just keep inching your way down until you are 
are at a comfortable stretch point for yourself. If you do enjoy forward folds, go ahead and continue all the way down into a complete fold and just hang out here for a minute, taking a breath, maybe gently bending into one leg or the other. Maybe say hi to your little baby. Hi, baby girl. Tell us how baby can get to mommy. Of course, you pooped. Of course, right when we're doing our yoga class, right? Murphy's Law. Inhale, we're gonna roll ourselves all the way up. Back up to standing. Inhale, arms come all the way up, overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Awesome. So we're going to warm up our body with a little bit of a modified or slowed down sun salutation. So um, this also is kind of um, when we do a vinyasa, uh, usually this is what you do. So if you know that that doesn't work for you, I want you to find something that does. So if that means hanging out in your downward dog or taking a child's pose or some other posture that you feel like you could really use for that short little bit of time, then I want you to listen to your body today and honor that, okay? Don't just follow me. This is not a follow the leader thing. This is a choose your own adventure. Ah. Right, off of the mat, this is mommy's face. You get the whole house. <laughs> all right, bending into the knees, nice big breath all the way up. Exhale, forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale down. Bend the knees if you need to to plant the hands, stepping it back into your plank pose. Good. Inhale here. Exhale down. Inhale. Let's just do a baby cobra. Exhale, release. One, one more baby cobra. So inhale as if you're rolling that marble away, lifting with the upper body. So we're not pressing into our hands. I can lift my hands up here. Exhale, release, tuck the toes, press it all the way up and back into your downward dog. Inhale, right leg all the way up. So now we're doing our three-legged dog. We're gonna bend into that right knee and open the hips. And circling that foot around, wiggling the toes, a little bit of foot yoga there. When you're doing your three-legged dog and you're opening your hips, I want you to pay attention to make sure that your weight is equally distributed between your hands. So we're not, we don't want to lean all the way over to one side. We want to keep our hands equal balance and our, both of our armpits are facing down to the mat. Rising up onto the toes of the standing leg, we're going to draw that knee all the way in to the chest and then step that foot onto the mat. So we're in our nice long runner's lunge here. Take a moment to kind of get to know your lunge today so we don't need to just land right in it and boom, there you are, you have to stay. I want you to move around, find those spots in your body that need the love, okay? The only way that you find those spots in your body is by moving it around and kind of experimenting. What happens if I sink my hips down a little lower? What happens if I lengthen my front leg a little bit? A big part of why I love yoga so much and what I feel so inspired to share with others is really understanding and getting to know your own body. So not doing what everybody else does because that's what people do. Understanding your body and what your body needs and what your body asks for and, and craves that you give it. Good, we're going to plant the back heel so that the toes are pointed out about 45 degrees. Bringing our right hand inside the right foot. We're going to inhale, opening up. If this is too low for you and that's not available, you can either come onto a block or you can bring that elbow to the inside of the knee. So oftentimes um, people will rest that elbow on top of the knee. We wanna bring it to the inside of the knee so that our core is working. Oh my gosh, does this feel good? If you don't have a yoga block, just get creative. Watch this. Baby toy, we've got the xylophone thing here. This will work, see? Put this here. Oh, and music. <laughs> I've 
to remove those, otherwise I'm going to trip on them. And This is not a America's Funniest Home Video Yoga Mat experience. <laughs> Good. One more nice deep cycle of breath here. Exhale, top hand is going to come down. We're pivoting up onto the ball of that back foot again. We're planting the left hand under the shoulder, and this time we're going to inhale the right arm all the way up. So we're twisting and pressing that belly against the inner thigh. Inhale deeply into the belly, and then exhale, cinching at the waist so that you can go a little bit deeper in your twist. That twist is coming right from the waist. Drawing the right hip back so that it's in line again. One more nice cycle of breath here. And then exhale, top hand comes down, step it back into your downward dog. Roll forward into your plank. Exhale down. Inhale. Now you can take another baby cobra here. Or feel free if you want to come into your up dog, slide the hands back to the rib cage. Just coming up onto the tops of the feet. And then send it back into your downward dog. Wherever you are, or whatever you chose to do during that little vinyasa, go ahead and meet us all in a downward dog. Good. This time we're going to inhale left leg all the way up, feeling that awesome stretch in the back of the right leg this time, melting the heart down to the mat, and keeping your weight equally balanced, we're going to bend that left knee and open the hips again. Checking with the armpits. Did you wear deodorant today? <laughs> Just kidding. Are they both pointing down at the mat? For the record, no, I am not wearing deodorant today. I actually rarely wear deodorant. That's because I don't leave the house because we're in the middle of a global pandemic. Good. Square those hips and we're going to hover the knee into the chest and then step it down onto the mat. What was that? What was that? For that baby. What's that? Oh, wow. Good. So again, on this side in your lunge, I want you to explore. What happens when you make little micro movements and little adjustments? I'm still experimenting with my camera angle here. I, I have to keep it out of reach of Freya. <laughs> so I'm kind of limited. And then plus it's hard to get my whole self in the frame. That's it. I'm getting a webcam guys. I'm getting a real webcam. Sink the hips down, lengthen through the front leg, whatever it is that your body is asking you to do and explore. Because we don't know what we don't know, right? Right. Awesome. All right, so we're going to take that left hand and plant it on the inside of the left foot, spinning to plant our back heel, opening up with the right arm. Again, you can keep it down on the mat or you can bring that elbow to the inside of the knee. Extending the bicep by the ear so that you've got that wonderful length through the entire side of the body. And then using your elbow, if you've got it up here, if you have your hand all the way down, you're still using the back of the arm. We're pressing that front knee open. Good, top hand comes down. We're gonna plant it right under the shoulder, pivoting up onto the back toes again. Inhale, left hand to the sky. So draw this left, left hip back. So I'm exaggerating, but shoo, right? We want that left hip to be all the way back. Oh, this feels really good. One more nice deep breath here. Exhale, top hand comes down. We're going to step it back into the downward dog. Walk it out the dog if you need to. Inhale, roll it forward into your plank. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale, downward dog. Anybody else's arms still sore from our wonderful hit workout earlier this week. That one was a killer. Good. Gaze comes towards the head. We're going to walk, step, or hop our feet 
to meet in a forward fold. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up. <sighs> Hands come to heart center. So I feel really called to share with you guys um, one uh, pranayama practice that I love. It's actually one of my very favorite, favorite, favorite things to do in a yoga class and I'm going to share it with you guys today. It's called the breath of joy and it feels so good. So I'm going to do one to show you, then we'll do three together. All right. So we're going to inhale three parts in and then a big ah as a release when we got come into the forward fold. So we go Isn't that awesome? <laughs> so it's in, 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 exhale into a forward fold. So we'll do three in a row and then on our third one, we're gonna just hang out in that forward fold for a, uh, a few breaths and let all that fresh oxygenated blood come up to the brain and give us a surge of feel good and wake up. <laughs> So this is a good one to do if you need a little pick me up in the middle of the afternoon. Never mind the shot of espresso. Do a few breaths of joy um, in your day. All right, ready, set, go. <laughs> slowly okay we want to be light in our hearts not in our heads how is that eh mm. all right we're gonna go through another little little flow again and uh, then we'll wrap things up excuse me Fred. I just need to remove your toys from a spice okay this is real life though right this is real life we're doing it Come up to the top of your mat once again. Inhale, arms all the way up, overhead. Clasping and interlacing the fingers, making a little steeple. We're going to reach those fingers as high as we can. Biceps coming all the way back to the ears. Maybe a little bit of a back bend if that feels good for you here. And exhale, back to center. Hands to heart. We're going to, I'm going to back up a little bit so that you can see me a little better. We're going to root down and um, get some serious yoga toes on our right foot here. So pick the, the toes up, spread the ball joint of the big toe and the baby toe away from each other, and then let those toes come to rest on the floor. And you'll notice you feel like you've got a total electronic connection to the earth and you are rooted. You are not going anywhere. Now, bringing your um, left foot just to rest against the ankle as you find your balance. So take your time here. Letting the gaze soften on a spot a little ways away that's not moving. And if and when, so you can leave your foot right here, this is still tree pose, but if and when you feel ready, I want you to slowly tuck the tailbone under slightly so you've got a little bit of an activation in the glutes, lifting through the chest, and then sliding that foot up until you find a resting spot for it. Now that can be against the calf, or you can bring it up to the inner thigh, just not on the knee. Um, and then of course the other variation is you can bring that foot all the way up and rest it in the hip crease. I find I like the inner thigh the most. Good, finding your balance here. Let that standing leg press 
against your balancing leg as much as your lifted leg is pressing into the standing leg. So you have this wonderful opposition of forces here that meet in the middle. Ooh, that's deep. You could take that like into life. <laughs> Opposing forces meeting in the middle. Mm, I like that. Good, slowly release that foot, keeping the leg elevated. We're gonna draw the knee in front of us 90 degrees. Inhale, opening the arms nice and wide. For your pelican pose. From here, gently glide yourself forward, hinging right at the hips, pressing that heel back into your warrior three. Leveling the hips with the floor. If you find yourself losing your balance, that's okay. Just come back to the pose. Good. Bringing yourself all the way back up to your pelican. We've got one more. So I want you to draw the knee out to the side, grabbing onto either the big toe or the ankle, wherever, or the outer blade of the foot, whatever feels best for you. Now maybe this is good for you here. If you're available to, I want you to start pressing that heel away. Coming into your hand to foot pose. I'm gonna just turn so you can see what this actually looks like. So I'm holding on to the outer edge of my foot and I'm pressing that leg out. <laughs> if you're not here, don't worry about it, that is okay. I've, there have been a lot of times where I have not been here. I was more like all over the place, more like that. And that is okay. This is a practice. That's why it's called a yoga practice. Good. So we're turning to center. Let's just do a little palm tree flow to uh, rinse the body out from that side. Letting your arms thwap, like T-H-W-A-P, thwap against your abdomen. This is really great for stimulating blood flow to our organs and our kidneys. Love this as well. Freya, what do you have now? Let me have that please. Thank you. <laughs> Good. And then shake out your legs a little bit. We're going to come into that same sequence on the other side. So we're going to inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Rooting down and creating grounding in your left foot this time. Sliding the right foot against the ankle. Press the hips forward and tuck the tailbone slightly. And then when you're ready, after you've found your spot for your gaze, go ahead and lift your foot if you want to. You're welcome to leave that foot down on the ankle. That is still a tree pose. That's like your sapling. Hands can be at heart center here. Or holding on to your baby. One more nice full cycle of breath here. We're gonna release the foot, keeping the knee lifted and draw that knee in to the front. Opening our arms nice and wide for our pelican. Good, using your abdominals for, because the using core strength also really helps with your balance. Plus, we're going to be hinging forward. So I want that belly button to come back towards the spine. Coming forward into your warrior three pose. Let your arms really take flight here. So open up, use your back muscles and your shoulders to, not just to let those arms float beside you, but I want you to lift so that you're opening the chest as you're doing this. Good, inhale, draw yourself back up into the pelican. 
Then we're going to reach down <laughs> for our foot, opening up into that hand to foot pose once again. So remember, wherever you are, if this is just where you're at today, that's great. That's fine. Leave it there. If you feel like pushing your edge a little bit, start pressing that heel away. My balance is quite off on this side today. That's okay though. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Good, bring it back to center. We're gonna shake it out. We'll palm, rinse it out with a palm tree flow. Oh, I got the low battery warning here. There we go. Palm tree, Freya, Freya Bobea. <laughs> she is really a fun girl to hang out with all day. After this, Freya and I are gonna go do some recipe testing for our meal plan for next week. I'm checking out what muffins we're gonna make. Cause I don't know about you, but I plow through the muffins. <laughs> uh, bring it back to center. Taking it to the front of the mat once again. If you were somewhere else, what are you eating now? Oh, that is dog hair. Oh. <laughs> oh <my gosh. sighs> Good. Inhale all the way up. Exhale forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, release. We're going to heel toe the feet about as wide as the mat with our toes pointing out, coming down into our um, malasana, our yogi squat. Let's just turn this way so you can see. Using our elbows to really press the knees nice and wide, reaching the tailbone down towards the earth and extending through the crown all the way up to the sky, feeling that long line of energy through the body. Oh, that baby's asking for a jam. Meow. Mm -hmm. We're almost done. One more deep breath here. And then we're just going to come all the way down onto the seat. Bringing yourself into a cross-legged position. Very, um, very slowly so that you're paying attention to where your edge is. I want you to start to hinge forward at the hips. Hinge forward until you feel that really nice stretch in your hips. almost a yin approach with this so we're not forcing it we're just letting gravity do the work for us ow 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 Freya. then we're going to extend the arms in front of us and walk our arms all the way over to the right keeping both hips rooted to or hips both sit bones rooted to the earth oh here do you want my earring you want to play with that and check it out? You'd be happy for a minute. Inhale back to center. We're going to walk our arms all the way to the other side. If you notice that you're starting to lean or lift on one side, then just ease off a little bit. So if you're all the way up here, this is what it'll look like. That's okay. That's all right. You just do how you got to do. Bring the arms back into center and then walk yourself up. We're going to leave our left hand on our knee and we're going to take our right hand behind us and we're going to do an open twist. Um, oftentimes we take the hands of the opposite knee like this to twist. We're going to leave it open because we're going to be opening through the collarbones here. So inhale nice and tall. Exhale into your twist and I want you to really draw both of those shoulders down and back. So that you, you should feel a nice opening through the chest, collarbone, and neck, as well as all of the goodness you feel in that twist. Yeah. Good. One more breath. And exhale. 
inhale to release. We're going to take it to the other side. So the right hand is going to come to the right hip. Left hand is going to come behind. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, release. Or release. Exhale into your twist. And remember, we're drawing those shoulders down and back. So that's why we've got this hand on this knee, is to give us a little bit of help here with opening the collarbones. <laughs> Inhale back to center. We're going to switch the cross of the legs. So the opposite leg is in the front now. And um, provided you don't have a baby on your lap, I'm going to invite you to go ahead and lean forward again, stretching into the other hip this time. Again, we're letting gravity do the work here for us. You need a diaper change. Inhale, walking the hands all the way over to the left. Mommy's going to get that nice clean bone for that baby in a minute. Whew, don't point that thing at me. <laughs> Inhale, back to center. And we're going to take it to the other side. Do a stretches like this. Bobby can't do a stretches like this. You got all your treasure over here. Oh. Inhale, arms back to center, and we're gonna press ourselves up, coming into those nice ah, ah, coming into those nice open twists once again. So left hand to the left knee, right hand behind. Inhale for length. Exhale into the twist. When you exhale in a twist, really draw the belly button back and cinch in at the waist because this, you'll notice when you do that, that's where you can twist further. We don't want to be cranking ourselves back. That's how we hurt ourselves. We want to exhale, cinching at the waist. And then invite more twist into the body. Inhale back to center, other side. Keeping both of the shoulders down and back so we're nice and open in the chest. Inhale back to center. Go ahead and roll around the head if that feels good. Maybe a few shoulder rolls. Good. When that feels complete for you, you are welcome to take a Shavasana. I am not going to do one today because of this. I will take a Shavasana later when I'm nursing her for a nap. <laughs> Um, so if you would like to, go ahead and um, pause or stop the video and take a few moments for yourself. Um, maybe try out a guided meditation while you do that for 10 minutes. That would be lovely. Um, otherwise, if you need to move on to the next part of your day, let's just seal the deal of this awesomeness that we just did for our body all the way in. Um, by doing a few shared breaths and I'm going to do a chant om at the end. So we'll bring the hands um, to the heart center, plugging the thumbs into that heartbeat. We're going to inhale through the mouth, ex or inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth with a big sigh. So we're ready to inhale. <sighs> Once again, inhale. <sighs> On this last one, see if you can, as you exhale, really press the belly back to get all of the air out of the body and lift the pelvic floor muscles at the same time. 
<clears throat> last inhale. Exhale, all the air. Inhale to chant. in your prayer position to the forehead as a reminder to have clear and loving thoughts. <laughs> Hands to the mouth for clear and loving communication. Hands to the heart for clear and loving intentions. Namaste, ladies. Thank you so much for joining. It has been an absolute pleasure to bring this class to you today. I think Freya had a good time as well. I know I did. <laughs> Hi, Elena. Um, anyways, have a great day, and I look forward to chatting with you guys again soon. Tomorrow morning is our Q&A. Please hit me up with any questions you have ahead of time, so if you're not able to be on the Q&A live that I'm going to be doing, um, I can still be answering your questions. Plus, I'm going to be sharing with you about how how and why I started this membership. So where it really comes from me, uh, for me to you. I gotta go. Bye. <laughs>